In this video presentation, we're going to look at fitting the humble miniature circuit breaker, in this case it's an RCBO, onto a bus bar. Sounds simple to us electricians. The apprentice here in the workshop have just been reintroduced almost to bus bars now because we've been using a lot of the Crabtree Starbreaker variety. I've got one of my students to start rebuilding an insulation resistance test rig that I've got just here. And it dawned on me that they hadn't fitted the bus bar before. However, the technology that's now crammed into this Wilex circuit breaker is actually making it easier for the apprentice and the electrician in order to fit them. It's got a no miss connection on the bottom so you can't help but screw it into the bus bar, as well as a quick release mechanism, meaning the actual bar itself will not need to be removed in order to add a circuit breaker. If we bring the camera in nice and close, let's see how we're going to fit, in this case an RCBO, onto the bus bar that's already been fitted in a real simple, easy fashion, thanks to the technology Wilex are putting to this breaker. So this is the bottom of the um, circuit breaker, in this case an RCBO, and you can see when I tighten up the screw, actually the cage moves uh, down into position. There's no back of the cage where we could miss it. So we put the bus bar into position like so. I'll try and keep my hands out of the way and tighten that one down. It's impossible not to catch the bus bar itself, in other words, be behind it. We'll fit this RCB onto the bus bar here next, and I'll show you the quick release part. So let's look at the quick release technology we've got in here. We've got this gray part here that we can pull forward, holds into position, we can clip it back down, but we can't see actually what that's doing. So if we just turn it to the side, you can see I pull it, it pulls this clip down at the back, the clip that would normally sit onto the DIN rail. So we go there and we turn it around again, pull it forward. So the DIN rail clip, the DIN rail here clip is moved by this lever at the front, making it easier to fit. So let's pull that forward and then drop it onto the actual bus bar itself next. So pop it onto the actual DIN rail itself, locate it into position like so, push back the clip, tighten up to, and we would have to use a torque screwdriver up to three Newton meters of torque. So that's there into that position. Wanted to take it out, reverse the process, undo the screw, pull forward the clip, and then we can just lift it off the actual DIN rail itself. So that is fantastic. Quick release technology built into the circuit breaker, no miss. So you can't help but get the bus bar in this Wilex style of circuit breaker, and this one being an RCBO. We've also got it on the AFDD here. This test rig will be up and ready in the next few weeks in order that we can do insulation resistance testing. We've got an S, um, SPD here, so we're going to look at that one during insulation resistance. We've got an AFDD and we've got RCBOs, and there's faults in the rig. So for this quick and easy video of how to fit a circuit breaker using no miss technology and the quick release uh, dim rail clip at the back, I hope this video has been some help.